Okay, let's go. So, uh, yeah, welcome uh, one and all to the spooky stream. And uh, we'll just see where this goes. So I'm playing the Mortuary's Assistant. And uh, I am not scared by scary games. I mean, I used to be when I was younger. God, this channel is three, ten years old. Uh, anyway, uh, I expect no one will interrupt me on Twitch. And that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Um, I have my custom character off on the side. Let's get this rolling. And, uh, yeah, this, this will be fine. Nobody's gonna come in here and scare me. It'll be great. Let's set this to Goosebumps. There we go. Yeah, nice and... Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing's wrong at any time. What you're about to experience is based on real paranormal events. Research of the occult have... Heightened the moment of emotion such as fear can encourage the manifestation of haunting. If after playing this game you experience abnormal happenings around your home or ha suddenly have a change in behavior or yourself or loved ones, reach out immediately to your local church and, par and or paranormal investigator. We should probably kill the goof goosebumps thing now. There we go. Alright. Um, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Uh, I'm sure this will have thrills and spills and chills and kills. Mm. But I have a uh, delicious cup of strawberry something. And, um, yeah, this should go all right. Um, what do we got? Wads uses left mouse button. Letter, letting strip. I guess I'll find out what that is. Clipboard, I am bet, I'm sure that has something to do with the tutorial. Sprint is shift. Uh, crouch is control. I, everything looks fairly normal. Full screen. V-Sync. I'm okay with V-Sync. Quality Ultra. What I don't like is um, anti-aliasing, but I'm not seeing that. High DPI mouse. What does that mean? What does that mean? All right. Uh, close. Reset intro. I guess I don't need that. There's really nothing here. It's just like, here's some quick options and let's, let's get started. Game automatically saves. Good to know. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm death proud positive. of you. I really am. You've come so far. Is that the girl from so, House of Alez? You haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. Yes! No, yes. I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even oh, I've heard things about that place. Just be worried people about you. make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Not yet. Right. I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So, here. I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. This is a strong start. You gotta admit, this is a strong start. Thanks. You guys seen the all exorcist? Right. Enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. No when more spooky all stuff. Happen? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow.
We're in Connecticut. What town in Connecticut? Does it matter? I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, I expect shit to get spooky fast. <laughs> yeah? Oh, okay. All right. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look around at stuff. Um, oh, shit, shit, shit. I've already started. There we go. I, I just want some coffee. We'll start with the coffee. Give me coffee. I just want coffee. What to expect after death? That's not ominous. Is that a picture of me? I, I mean, I'm a sexy woman, so it's probably a picture of me. Use the sign paperwork left on the door. Oh, okay. Right, what you... Okay, fuck, that scared me. I'm fine. Access quick inventory. And choose the menu. So, menu... Most of all, but not all, places where inventory can be used will cause the item icon to appear. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give you. Please grab a pencil from the desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. P.S. Good luck. Okay. Okay. Strong start. Jesus. Looking good. I've just been finished, like, playing Gary's Mod for a while there, and my uh, my instincts to throw in the flashlight and, and crouch jump. I don't have my clipboard. Uh, okay, so space isn't, isn't jump, for example. Yeah, my instincts are all set to Gary's Mod, so that's not going to do so great. Bombing report, bombing, they're all identical bombing reports. Oh, okay. Right mouse is inventory. Right mouse is inventory. That's a, that's a unique choice. Rebecca, great, perfect timing. Yeah, what? I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Oh. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Sure. Moving the deceased. Use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney to interact. Press the gurney. Oh, the gurney interact. There's a there's a dedicated interact key for gurney. Then walk backwards with the gurney down the hall. You must be my boss. I'm just checking you out. Don't don't mind me. I like to make sure I know what what all is what. We got some paper. Somebody needs to pick out the trash. So like I'm you know janitor instincts, right? My janitor instincts tell me, oh man, I gotta take that trash out. Okay, I assume I stand here, and E is dedicated gurney. I, can I not stare straight at you while I do this? Because I can't see anything. Whoa, oh, okay. Cold storage. Bring the body in or out of cold storage. Open the bay with the body's name. Pull out the rack and move the cart to it. Okay. Uh, Mr... Dalton. Is that what he said your name was? 
What if I put you in the wrong place? This is your actual home now. Yeah, well, mm, well, you know what? No, because I can't because there's a gurney in the way, right? So. Yeah, see, this this is different. Whoa, whoa, what are these? So this one doesn't have a gurney on it, so I can actually take it out or put it back. Put him back in here. Ooh, I don't... I don't like the, uh, the lack of control there. There we go. Yay. And let me just, can I? Yeah, thank you. Put you right there. Put you back, Mr. Dalton. We'll take good care of you. It's all fine. Everything's fine forever. Wait, what, what are you? This is Dorothy Page. Hello. Pope Page. It's a good thing we put underwear on you because, Christ, I don't think we could put, put, I don't think there'd be any YouTube videos for you, Miss Page. You're, you're going to be famous or something. Because Markiplier's got you on, on his, on his to-do list. Oh. Oh. Baby, we got to close those eyes. All right. Okay, I can look up. We we gotta do something about this. Is this like where's the mouse sensitivity? Look sensitivity. Can I up that? Thank you. Close. Uh, resume. Okay, that might be a little bit too fast. Have, find a happy medium. Okay, that seems better. No, no, it's just while I'm on the gurney, it's super sluggish. All right, I'm just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? O okay. I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. It's got a... Oh, that's a lamp. That's one of those clip-on lamps for the clipboard. The clipboard has a clip-on. I guess it's part. Oh, it's like attached. That is some detail. That's some nice detail. Uh, form stands for more just large items. Okay. Uh, so Dorothy Page, eighty-seven. You you got a high score there, lady. Eighty-seven. We're gonna keep track and see if anybody beats your high score later on. Records distinguishing marks. Enter marks into computer. Embalming report. It says one of or zero of five at the top right. My guess is that's going to change. So let's get a look at those gams. Uh, hover a cursor over marks such as mold, scratches, bruise. Interact with them to record them in the clipboard. All right. Well, I got nothing here. Nice leg. Let's try this one. Okay, that's that's his thing. All right and. I guess I'm not going to rotate your shit, lady. Oop. But I can clipboard at you, right? Oop. What the hell was that? Mm. These old windows never stay latched. That's necessary. Hey, Cross. Hi, I'm Clippy. <laughs> I see you're checking out a dead body. Maybe I can help with that. She's got something. Rotate her arms. Okay, I assumed... Whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? What is this? What is... What is that? Oh, she's got a little mark on her arm. Are liver spots liver-shaped? If not, why not? Talk amongst yourselves. Um, rash on the right arm. Blemish on the left leg. Doesn't blemish mean we don't know what it is, but it's there? Oh, hey, you got something weird on your palm here. I, th I believe that's a black spot. Is that what did you in? Somebody hurt you with the black spot? What is that actually listed as? Mole. Oh, you have a mole on your hand? That's a weird, weird place to get a mole. Let's check out that beautiful set of breasts. I cannot look at that side. Um, That seems all right, although you do seem a little bit glitchy. That's probably the rigor mortis. A month. 
It was obviously a su suicide. Who knows? Like, who actually knows? Now, she's got something right here, and I don't know what that is. Uh, she's also got something on her face. And I guess I'll look at that from the top. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Sure. Let me just don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, yeah, we'll get started. What do you got in yours? I cannot read him a him a gloma, and she's got a keratosis. Okay, apparently, apparently my compute my my character is smarter than I am. I don't know what that is. Why is little Marco on her leg? I mean, she had a wild youth. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Alright, what are we doing here? Refills networks into the cadaver information to collect the report of branch that matches. What was what? that? I didn't say anything. I didn't hear it. You alright? No, I'm Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Every, everything's cool. Car Keratoma? Carrot Keratoma? But oh, nope, I'm sorry, I messed up. Okay. Uh, name is Dorothy Page. Age is 87. She's got a keratosis. Hematoma bruise. Keratosis plate of rigid tissue. How charming. Uh, left shoulder. She's got this. Uh, him and a gym name right there. Yeah. On her right arm, she's got a rash. And on her left arm, she's got a mole in her hand. Now, on her right leg, she's got a blemish. Two, three, four, five. That's it. Submit. There you go. How's that working, boss? Keratosis comes from the word carrot, which means delicious. Hematoma comes from the word amia. What? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, River mortuary port. Embalming report. A packet of mortuary paperwork handling. Okay, that's cool. Large item. Uh, oh. Boss, do you see that? Like that, that right there. Boss, do you see that? I'll be right back. Cool. Oh, I got my fear face on. Like, I, I should have my fear face on for this, right? Oh, that's right. I got to right click for this. Embalming. It's time report. to embalm. Yeah, it is. Spell check error should be Hema. I'm learning all kinds of shit tonight. Great. Let me get a sip, a drink. You know what? I should also get a cough drop. For strategic cough drop purposes. Because we're going to be here all night doing creepy shit. Just so you know. And this is going on YouTube. Say hello, YouTubes. Zip. All right. Let's continue with the creepy shit. All right. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. Oh, excellent. I'll be monitoring. Oh, yeah? Everything's on your list there if you need it. Yeah, so it is. Okay. So let me see what, what do we need here. Wire jaw shut with needle injector and setting needle. That looks like a needle, needle injector. Too important. Cool. And setting needle. Fastening setting needle. I can actually read that. Cool. All right. Okay, Miss Page. I just need to... Oh, my God. Pull the manipulator up and down to inject the button... To drive the barb into the skull and then twist the wire shut. Oh. Lovely. This is what they do to your body after you die. Yeah. Cool. Let me get my shotgun. What do they do with people who don't have teeth? Boss? Um, insert eye caps to keep the eyes shut.
Okay, there's the eye caps. Alright, cool. Well, after the all the other stuff, you mean like the sex? Placing eye caps, use the manipulator to shut the lids completely. Interact with the eyes to place them to load them in. Alright. Um I can't I can't use that here. What are, you, what are you talking about? This is exactly where you're supposed to use it. Okay, let's try opening them first. Okay, there we go. Now we get the eye caps. And then we can close them. And can we like oh look at she's winking. Isn't that cute? And exactly the sex, yeah. Alright. I can only hope that a necrophiliac takes care of my body, one that thinks that I'm sexy. Oh, that's the inventory button. I found the inventory button. Hands and pockets. There's a drop button. Okay. Um, so mix embalming fluid into the pump. Uh, gl glutarolide, methanol, humectin humectant and formaldehyde. See, I only know one of those words. Uh, oh, oh, here they are. Alright, cool. Uh, does it matter? So this is formaldehyde. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, let's see. This is glutarol. This is humectant. I can't hold anything else. What? Really? I can't hold anything else. Can I not put it in my pockets? Oh, else. shit. I dropped it. Was I supposed to do that? Oh, okay, I just dropped it on the floor. I can pick it up. And finally, methanol, which I could drink. Grim proves why he should never work at a funeral home. Oh, I'm sure they, they've got a gallows sense of humor at funeral homes. So what's next? Uh, we need to make an incision at the carotid artery jugular vein with a scalpel. I need a scalpel. That's a scalpel. Okay. Uh, let's 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 grab it. And okay, that's something I can hold in my pocket because I'm, I'm sure I need more shit, right? Uh, I need forceps and tubing. So here's the tubing. That's that's too big. What about the forceps? Can I put that? Okay, I can't put that in my pocket. And then I need. Um, Engage the blood drain. Okay, that's all I need for now. All right, let's put a card. Okay, let's do it on the other side because that that damn thing's in the way. <clears throat> all right. Yep. Uh, some items need to be used directly on the body to use an item. Open the inventory and select the thing you need. Okay, in this case, I guess I need the forceps and tubing. All right. All right, and now engage the pump and let the body drain. Mm. Oh, okay, I see. It's it's gauged so that it'll drain into this, and that'll go into the actual drain drain. And this has a line leading from the sink, so this is, we're actually draining it with water while pumping it with preservatives. I uh, I'm not a fan of being preserved. I actually want them to kind of at least drain the blood out of my own body because I want to rot normally. I don't want preservatives. Uh, we'll deal with that then. So, click. Mm -hmm. mm. Very pretty. You liking this? She had a lot of blood, boss. Just a lot of fucking blood. Look at all this blood. It's still going. Okay, okay, it's clearing. Finally. Fucking finally. 
pretty sure that's done. Is that all right? Is that all right? All right. Uh, turn off pump, remove tubes, close incision. The fuck are you playing? Uh, the mortuary assistant. Move the tubes, close the incision. There we go. All right, next is fill the empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid and then insert troker, trocar into the abdominal abdominal cavity. All right, so first we gotta find this, right? Cool, it's for Grotus. Your your Grot 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 Grotels. Oh, that's a five, Grotel five. Cool. I don't think I can pick this up too. No, I can. All right. Was was that the troker? Yeah, that was the troker. No, don't drop it. Fuck. Uh, okay, there it is. I need that. I'm good. I am. I am good gameplay. Is that supposed to be down there, boss? You are a fucking slob. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Um, fill everything. Yeah, insert trucker into the abdominal cavity. Mix cleaner in bathroom. Okay, that's for later. That's for later. Uh, insert trucker to stop beginning. Oof. Pretty. All right. Uh, up and down, left and right, until the reservoir bag is closed. I mean empty. Mm. What is this? What am I doing? What what the fuck am I doing? Like what part of what part of Dead Body Watch is this? There we go. Why did I do that? Boss, why was that done? Explain it to me. Why? All right, whatever. Um, okay, mix cleaner in bathroom closet to create tank cleaner, then pour it into embalming pump. Okay. B boss. Boss, I, I can see the footprints again. God damn, this is run. This is walk. All right. I need some flow tank. Solution of corros corrosion inhibitor. Add, de add descaler to create mixture to clean embalming machine. Okay, this must be the descaler. So we'll add the, this in the cleaning mixture. And I assume that is now tank cleaner. Excellent. Yeah. Do we gotta do this every time? Like, clean it every time? Is that. I mean, I will if that's the job. You see, don't worry, they're just the tutorial footprints, your boss, probably. Okay, apply moisturizer to facial features. No reason I can't do that now, right? Here's the moisturizing USP Type 7. Okay. Hey, they're gorgeous. All right, let's see. Move wipe across facial features while holding down interact until the lotion is used up. Okay. Got to make sure those lips are kissable. What, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, okay. Yeah? Tell you what. What? What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Okay. Uh, um. Are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. I, I mean, I didn't even check off the moisturizer. Uh, oh, all right. 
Can I climb out through the window? Do you mind if I climb out through the window? All right. I'm taking this clipboard. It's fine. This clipboard I'll give is you a call when we get someone in. This clipboard is mine now. I got an achievement, my first body. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? So, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, he just said it to get me out of the building. Well, you are crazy. Wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. Oh, it's boy. Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. Hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Excellent. You were doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badge is in your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. Sus is right. Bye. Holy shit, that was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. See? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. Hooray, nothing Life. bad oh, is right. going to happen to, to us. Later. Everything's fine forever. Everything's fine Where forever. Expecting. <laughs> You are. <laughs> subtitles! There we go. Now we can actually do subtitles. Alright. Uh, resume. I mean, close. Resume. Plop, twist, they bite, and truly begins the Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, Malkavian edition. Alright. Uh, let's learn a little bit about Rebecca. Grandma. Okay, that was Grandma before. Alright, we got it. We got it. We got it. Nothing on the back. What do you like? I know there's, like, they're, they're dead. You've got plenty of time. There's my car keys. I don't care. Uh, embalming, a history of prevention and the role of coping with death. Um, it is a fascinating thing. And uh, I, I don't remember who the death positive woman was. Moving and methods. Fashion design. Modern women. Ron Arand. But uh, generally the, the like the embalming thing? Yeah, and this is the one song radio station. We're gonna play with this is the one song radio station. Cause we're gonna play the same song, cause it's all we have the budget for. I'm DJ Two Shades. Motherfucking really? <laughs> That's brilliant! The one song radio station. We only have the budget for one song. The nicest people are dead. That's this it that is that's her t-shirt. That's her t-shirt. Music band shirt and sports. Uh we got some coffee. This this needs to be on the floor. Um what else? Oh, some coffee cup also on the floor. Both of them, just in case we have company. All right. What what else? Um, she has knives, a toaster. You know, even I don't have a toaster, so I'm a little I'm a little jealous. Um, Luann's bits kind of tastes like leaves and sticks. Heart good. 
Moth bombs. It's insanely sweet. <laughs> Okuos. It supposedly doesn't have bees in it, but they keep putting it on the box, and it that's got it's got bees on it. What the fuck? A uh, cereal that does not have bees in it. Long ago, Donald McMuffin, <laughs> McMillan, hatched one simple idea. What if bees were in cereal? The idea would not be accepted today or even in McMillan's Mill time. Didn't stop him from innovating. Uh, innovation. Not long after Okuo's was born with the original recipe of mashed bees. And the well-known slogan, It's Got Bees in It. After multiple recalls spanning multiple decades, the Ukawa formula has been adjusted to fit our clientele, or our changing times. We are proud to say that Ukawa certainly does not contain bees. However, we hold it to our founding slogan to remain to us our richest... What the, <laughs> what the fuck?! Okay, this, this needs to go into my floor. As does my toothpaste. I don't know why it's here, or if even that I have a bathroom. Are my keys in my fridge? Wolfos. There's food in here. 110 calories. I think it says it contains two serving. Okay, cool. Did I just lose connection? Yeah, you guys, you guys aren't aren't on anymore. My uh, my thing dropped, which is cool. That's cool. You know, this is, huh? Not not great. Not great. But I'm gonna continue on because I'm not just streaming. Right? I'm also recording for YouTube's. So we'll see what this does. Where are my keys? God, I always lose those. Um, I guess I guess I don't have a choice, right? Whoa. What? Oh. Death and Decay, a book covering the process of science of decomposition. I'm not going to read this. It's a book about death and decay. You guys can pause. Okay, let's grab keys. Does it say Rebecca? Ooh, I have a phone number here just in case they're lost. Cool. All right. Temporary items do not take up space in your normal inventory. Use temporary items by directly interacting with objects that require it. Okay. Oh, they're in the side there. All right. The one song radio station is my favorite radio station. Thus it being changed to one song. Just sitting here with my hands on my knees. I guess that goes to like cold storage. It's a spooky night. Oh, that was neat. Get back and get started. And I put everything back. <gasps> what? What? Am I scared of something? Should I be afraid? Am I afraid? Oh. Hi, Rebecca. Hey. M Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. Oh. I know you're scared. Am I? I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? Okay. This is very sudden. Listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need Scared to face. take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This 
is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? Okay. We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Ugh. Damn it. What the fuck? He just That's ran insane. the fuck away. Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay. This is so stupid. There's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just... Just play along and do your job. Okay. We got an old key. We got a hall key. We got a tape recorder. Yeah, I, my my internet borked. My internet borked, and I couldn't do anything. And I'm not going to stop for you guys. And I'm sorry. Uh, the reason being, wait a second, wait a second. I just realized you guys are not showing up on uh, on my uh, chat box either. So, R really, are we doing this? Let me refresh it. Hang on a sec. Okay. Let me do a quick test. Nope, it doesn't work. So you guys are just not on chat anymore. And I'm not going to fix it right now. I'm not going to fix anything right now. Oh, right. Yeah, we at least have access to the bathroom. I feel like that's super important. I just got a, a achievement 10 out of 10 immersion. Still wearing the same thing. <laughs> Let's not mess with the fuses yet. Oh, okay. Uh, hockey? I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like that? All right. All right. Listen carefully. I'm look. I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. <sighs> I've recorded a Ghost cat. Of sets to instruct you. I swear. I hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. Sure. This is insane. This is, yeah, well. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. Yeah, but we gotta look at the tapes, right? And we gotta. Open shit. Oh wow, what is this? All of whatever this is. I'm getting back to work. No, no, I wanna know all of this. I'm sorry, Rebecca, we're doing this shit. The night shift database. A computer program combining all my findings into whatever. one reference Just point. Grab a body. The database contains all started. the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. Ever forget what to do, I don't have my clipboard. Play these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic Looks names like is the most things. crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Okay, well, we'll deal with that. What else we got? At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, mm. weakening you. Until you are unable to resist. I 
Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known. Dude, is it actually time based? Use the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Y yeah? Don't think about it. Just scribble. Okay. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. Okay. Access from the inventory. Oh, yeah, all right. Well, whatever. Well, we got one more. We got one more tape. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to, to, to the mark that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. I would... Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in all the to begin the evocation. That's creepy. To uncover creepy. The sigils to use them. Hey, chat's back. Hold the letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on the walls, under objects, inside Whoa. furniture. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with. And use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Wish I had a flashlight. It's pretty fucking. It's pretty fucking dark. Okay, so it burned up here, right? So there's a sigil around here, right? What does it look like? Does it look like this cross? I mean, I know what it looks like. I just saw all those sigils over in the, the corner there, right? But. I don't see a sigil. Do you guys see a sigil? Maybe you can only see it when the lights are off. Hmm? No, that's just spooky shit. Oh! Here it is. Yeah? Is this it? I'm assuming this is it. it looks like a cursive P or an N. It's like a sideways. Let's see if we can find that. Hang on. <clears throat> All right. Um, sideways in. Oh no, it's a Z. There we go. I'll just put that there. Oh, you can't. You can't remove it once you've put it down. It's there forever. Cool. What what if I make a mistake like this? Like this this seems like a great design right here. Okay. I'll grab another one of those. Yeah, no, I'm into it. Let's 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 do this. Let's do our demon stuff. Let's do a quick lap around the house. Mm-hmm. Oh, that seems alright. Alright. Three more. Right, right, right. 
Uh, he said he had some personal information stuff. Stapler. Random shit. What? What? The Book of Typhon. Conversations. Buckle down, I'm reading this. Okay. Six Typhon walked amongst his disciple. Oh, Typhon walked amongst his disciple, and he spoke. He who does not truly let the Lord into his heart shall be judged by his sins and destined to serve those who truly believe. For all are assigned to the halls of hell. Seven. Abandon God as he has abandoned you. Bring Lucifer into your heart and reveal... Wait, what the fuck is this? His glorious sin for all are damned. There is no hope of God. All are marked for the house of hell and as all are hopelessly lost. You have been left behind. Eight. And as he passed, Oneron looked upon Typhon with disgust and said, I will not turn my eye from God. Satan has no dominion over the Lord's creation. You know, I believe Lucifer, isn't that, uh, that's, that's not a biblical name. It is a biblical name, but it isn't, it's not his actual name, right? They, they haven't actually made the connection between Lucifer and Satan, right? Like, I think that's a, a John Milton thing that actually did that, right? Nine, Ta Typhon looked unto Onoran and said, Pray as you wish. Fall to your knees at this moment and call to God. Perhaps today he will step down from the heavens and all doubt shall vanish. Ten, pray to nothing and behold the truth. I will take, your, from, you, eh, I will take from your God's creation the ashes of man. For it burns eternal and it's, it's sinful fire. Oh, good. Keep it going. Eleven. Typhon held the charred remains of Durad. Great name. And walked among his disciples, spreading his ashes of, upon their flesh, setting the reeds on his hands ablaze. He said unto Unaran, See now that all are marked in the glory of Satan. 12. Onoron beheld a flash of light upon the skin of each disciple as Typhon passed from it. He saw the marks burn deep into their flesh, one of three of one of three for the houses of hell, for we all are destined to serve his higher purpose. 13. And Typhon extended the ashes of Deuterods to the hands of Onoron and said, Bear the forgotten flesh upon your own. Ignite this, ignite its sin, and accept the true God. Oh, that's lovely. That's poetry. Yeah. I know no personal items. Okay, these are eye caps. I saw those during the tutorial. For for skeps, scalpels, uh, turox or whatever the fastening thing. Okay, this for lips. Cool. Um, moisturizer, other stuff, yeah. What is that? Debris, all right. Like, I think they're brochures? Hey, here's my thingy. Uh, I have my own work badge. Uh, no special passcode on the back of that. All right. Oh, I'm not taking it? Extra keys. Extra keys to the mortuary. I guess I don't need that. No, no, open up. Raymond, I really need a key to the hatch outside. There's a hatch? Cleaner is low, and you mentioned having some down there before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier for everyone. Zoe. It's it's Raymond Delver, right? That's the name of our boss. Or the boss's uh, badge. Yeah, I, I, I remember. I just wanted to do the last. All right, so what do we got here? Uh, 7,900. Okay. Um, uh, Raymond Delver. Uh, full access, Raymond Delver, April 17th, 1944. This one's got some age on him. Well, it's 1997 now. So, what was that? What was the fuck? 1700? Or 7900. Okay. Oh, 
whatever. Okay, well, I guess I'll do that later. Let's get to work. Um, actually, you know what? This is a good stopping point. This is a good point to go to break uh, temporarily and make a little cut for YouTubes. Because I will be uploading this. And I don't want to do any editing because it's boring. And I don't have time anymore. Holy shit, I don't have time anymore. I used to have time, now I don't. So let's go to a quick break. <clears throat> Burn the strip, yeah.